Okay, so in this video, we are going to talk about how you would use a meter um, or draw a meter. Okay, so to do that, you have to know that there are two types of meters. There's a voltmeter and then there's an ammeter. Okay, voltmeters are usually measured in, well, what do you think? Hold on a second. Yeah, voltmeters usually measure the voltage. Okay, um, and you remember, the sign for voltage is V. Ammeters usually measure the amps. See? Amps, and the sign for that is A. Alright, this is the current. It measures the current. Alright, um, just in case you don't know that. On your circuit diagram, you'll usually, um, the symbols for the voltage meter or the voltmeter looks like this. It's a circle with a V, and the symbol for the ammeter looks like that. Simple. A for amps, ammeter, V for volts, voltmeter. So it's really simple, okay? Now, there's the difference comes in how you use them and how you apply them. So let's go on and look at some. In this picture here, you have a example of a voltmeter. So let me go ahead and write that down. This is a volt, uh-oh, voltmeter, okay? This voltmeter, like right here, I'm just going to highlight everything so you can see what it is. This is a battery, this is a battery, this is a battery. All those are batteries, okay? Um, this is a light, this is a light, and this is a light, all right? And then you can see the wires. And then this giant machine here, this is my actual voltmeter. As you see, this circuit right here is actually going, you know, in a loop. This is what we call a series circuit. So the current is running through all those lights, through this battery, through this battery, through this battery, and through this battery. It's just going in one giant loop, making one entire circuit. Okay, circuit, circle, you get it? And then you have this voltmeter here, and you can see that it's connected. Right now, it's measuring actually just one light. So, so here it is, and it's measuring one light. All right. But is it a part of this actual circuit? Again, here it goes. Battery current comes out of this side into here. Is it actually like inside this circuit, this nice giant circle that we drew? No, it's actually on the outside of it. So if I was to actually draw this, then it would look like this. You know, you have to go and get your symbol sign. So you might want to turn in your books to the page that has symbols or download it off the website, um, which it should be on the page below this, this video. All right, so the batteries. If I was to draw this circuit, it would look like this. All circuits should be drawn square. So I have three batteries. I'm going to use a different size. That's just too big. All right, so I have three batteries, you know, and a cell is the same thing as a battery, just so you know. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to draw cells because those are easier. So I have three batteries, and then I have three lights. All right, now, that's what I just drew over here. That's what these little yellow... But now I want to actually draw this portion right here. You see where these little orange dots are coming out of this thing? I want to draw this meter. As you see, this meter right here is actually measuring this light bulb. So I'm going to draw a meter doing the exact same thing. Okay? So if I was to draw this, you would just draw it like this. And the sign for a voltmeter, remember, was this. So all you do when you're doing the symbol for it is you would draw it like that. Circle. V, there we go, okay? And that's basically what I just did. So that would be how you would draw a meter, okay? Um, if I wanted to, let's see here. Let's say I wanted to measure the voltage of these three batteries right here. How would you draw this? I'll show you. You basically would take these prongs that are over here, and you would put them over here where this battery is. So it would look like this. This is how you show that you are measuring the voltage across three batteries. All right? That simple. Okay. Here's another example of a voltmeter. Okay? In this picture, you see a battery. So I'm going to just draw the circuit diagram version of it. So you see a battery or a cell. They're the same thing. And you see one light bulb. All right? And what is it measuring again? It looks like it's measuring the light bulb because you see it's on this side. All right, one on each side of the light. That's the key to the voltmeter. You can't measure them both on the same side, you know? It's kind of like when you are trying to jump your car. When you have, let's say, you know, in your car you have a battery thing and you've got one side that's 
black and then you have the other side that's red if I was going to take this meter you know you have your little jumper cable cords you usually attach one to this side and you attach one to the other you don't attach them both to the same side because you're not going to get any power and it's the same when you are doing a circuit alright so if I wanted to measure this light bulb then all you do is you would attach your your meter on either side. I just want to measure the light bulb. This is how you show it. Okay? That's a circuit diagram version of it. If I wanted to show that I'm checking the voltage of the battery as well, then you do this. Okay? Simple. Alright. Now, in this picture you see an ammeter. This is how I measure current. Current is totally different than voltage because unlike um, voltage where voltage doesn't actually have to break the circuit like the circuit can still go on you know you can do if the the power can still continue to move without it actually you don't have to break the circuit but in this situation when you're measuring current you actually have to break the circuit what do I mean when I say break the circuit that means you actually have to like if you pay attention right here and here you actually have to open the circuit up and then you have to insert the meter here's the ammeter you have to actually insert the meter so that you force current to go through. So here we go. We have our current. Now the current is actually going through this meter and then through the rest of the circuit. So the, 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 the meter actually comes, becomes a part of the circuit. If we go back and look in this picture, you see here that this voltmeter is not a part of the circuit because this is the circuit. It just goes into the light, back into the battery. And then same thing, into the light, back into the battery and the voltmeter is on the outside but with ammeters they're on the inside so let's see how you would draw this how would you actually draw this alright so I have right now I have a, a, a cell okay and then I have a switch and the switch is closed or I guess it's open in the picture it is I have a light bulb and then I have my ammeter. And what's the sign for an ammeter? Remember, it's a circle. So basically, this is a part of the circuit. And that's all you do. That's it. Bam. All right. That's how you would draw it. Now this shows that it's a part of the circuit. If you look at this drawing, the voltmeters are on the outside of the circuit. Even in this picture, it's on the outside of the circuit. Okay. I'm going to let you just look at that real quick. If you look at this picture, you have a resistor. Okay, that is a resistor. This is a light. And then here's a battery. I don't have to spell that one. Which one would which one of these is the voltmeter and which one of these is the ammeter? Okay. Let's say this is A and this is B. The one that is the voltmeter is this one. Because as you see, here is my circuit. See this is a negative side, so the energy is going into the light. Here we go, boop, into the resistor. It's going through this meter back into here, through the battery, and so on and so on. All right, so the this meter right here is not actually a part of the circuit. It's measuring the voltage of the battery. If I wanted to draw this, um, it would look like this. Hold on, before I even draw it, I wanted to point out that now when we did our little, you know, here goes our circuit or here comes the current, goes in, and it's going into this meter. So that would make this the ammeter because the ammeter means you actually have to be inside the circuit in order to be um, measuring the current. So how would I draw this picture? I had to make it smaller. So as you see, I have an ammeter here. I have a resistor. I got a light, I have my battery, and I have my voltmeter. So how would I draw this in the circuit? It's pretty much going to look just like this, except with a few changes. So I got my ammeter, that's this thing right here, okay, and then I have my resistor, and then I have my light, and then I have my battery, there you go, and then I have my voltmeter. Oh, that's an ugly circle. Try again. There you go. Hopefully you understand now how to draw. I want you to do some practices. Try practicing. Um, see if you get it. All right. Try practicing. I'll give you some practice questions. Here you go. 
write this down, try to solve it, and then see if you got it right. Give you about, I'm going to let you pause it right now. All right, if I was to do this right, then I would have, right now I have a light bulb and a switch, and I have my cell. If I wanted to measure the current, current you can place pretty much anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and put my current right in there, because remember, the current is actually inside the um, circuit. All right, so now the circuit has to go from this part of the battery through the circuit. See, now it's going through the meter and back around. Okay, that's it.